In today's episode, we're exploring the abandoned Yellow Dog Village, known to locals as an abandoned ghost town in the heart of Pennsylvania. The village was constructed in the early 1900s and was home to civilians for nearly a decade. In an effort to improve productivity at the local limestone mines and prevent a union from forming, a Yellow Dog contract was constructed. This contract raised wages and allowed for a safe community to be built for their workers. In 2009, the villagers were forced to leave due to an abrupt discovery of dangerous E. coli bacteria in the water supply. Join us as we explore the remains of Yellow Dog Village. We are now at the abandoned Yellow Dog Village, and we actually went up and asked for permission for this one, and they allowed us to come in. There's 22 abandoned buildings, and the lady up there that allowed us to go in is going to give us a little history of the place, because we didn't really know too much coming into it. But pretty much every building is accessible, and there's a lot of old artifacts in them. So we're gonna go talk to her, learn the history, and get on with exploring. Yo, I'm talking to you. Pull up. Come here. Come here. <laughs> They're huge. Look at there, guys. Hey guys, so welcome to Yellow Dog Village near Worthington, Pennsylvania. This is an abandoned mining village built in the early 1900s for a mining company that's located very was located very near. And what year was this place established? Um, we believe in the early 1900s, somewhere probably between 1910 and 1920, but we don't have an exact date. Okay, and then the uh, closure date was around... The last what? person left around 2011-2012. Um, the mine did close in the 1950s, and then it became um, eventually became the largest mushroom mine in the U.S. Mm. Which was um, up in that direction, yeah, right? Yeah, up in that direction. It's not accessible now, so we don't encourage anybody to go over there. Dang it's it. not our property. And so I'm just saying that out loud. Um, but yeah, yeah, last person left unfortunately in 11 12 um, because of E. coli contamination. And uh, so, is there any pr particular reason why the coals closed? Why? It's just bad economy or? The lime, it was limestone. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not particularly sure. Josh, are you sure? Do you know why the limestone mine closed? Uh, the limestone mine closed because they were bought up by US Steel. Yeah. And US Steel just shut them down because they weren't producing enough. Not profitable enough. Right, exactly. But then, uh, Moonlight Mushrooms was the company that came out. How, how was that? Did, did they manually grow the mushrooms, or did they naturally just grow them and they farmed them? Uh, it was they, farmed, Yeah, it was farmed. They manually brought just, um, and I talked to somebody who worked down there, mm -hmm. and they brought big hunks of wood oh. and drilled holes in it, and then put, like, mushrooms I've read a bit about there. that, like, you know, farming mushrooms. Pretty cool. All right, so we're stepping inside the first house, and one thing that we learned was they left a lot of stuff, like on purpose. So there should be a lot of cool relics in here for us to check out. Uh, different houses were abandoned at different times, so um, we were already told the most recent uh, house was abandoned in 2011. 
Yeah. And some of them have been closed for even longer than that. Yeah, so this one looks uh, to be in pretty good condition. And there's so many houses that I, it's going to be probably a little repetitive to get them all. So I'll probably choose the highlights. Oh, look at this. Well, you know, it's not the same. Oh my gosh. Is that a thing of mayo? Oh my gosh. Wow. So there's a second part of the first house, the greenhouse. Yeah. And there's a lot of random stuff. Computer. What do you see that stands out? Computer? Well, what I saw that was really interesting was, uh, what the huh? Look at that. Look at this. What is this? Oh, That's wow. cool. Uh, That's cool. Okay, you know by here. Look out there. There are, uh, whoa, loop. Oh, there's a basement. And look at the wall. Yeah. yeah you know why this plank is here? Do why there's what? This plank is here? Is there a hole? Yep. Yeah. Where? Right, right there on the ground? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so actually, correction, this is the greenhouse. This is the pink house. There's a couple of each of them. So we're actually going to the greenhouse now. What's that? Coffee? I guess, coffee. So they said that there used to be squatters here, so they're going to see some stuff that looks newer, and that's not from them, but pretty much everything that was originally here when the houses were up and left is still here. And I don't think I got it on video, but the lady said that the, uh, why was it abandoned again? Because of the water? Um, so the water was contaminated with E. coli, so Everyone was just forced it was deemed it. unsafe to consume, so a lot of people... Um, it up. And a lot of these places are restored buildings. So we got another another three story building here. It's probably the attic. Were they originally all three story? Um it seems like it. That's... Oh this one is actually bigger than the last one. Wow, there's Stay a couch. Here. Oh my god. This one was like a gaming room almost. Oh. I can definitely imagine. Like a. Bring your friends up here. I thought a TV maybe. Up in the corner. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think the the one. Dusty, can you even read it? I like how there's even a megabyte. How many megabytes there are? It's very informative. Look at this last thing. Don't even move it. We're gonna try the blue house now. What's what this? A, what is that? A nice box? Like, what is that? This was a freezer? Is it like a mini fridge? Oh my gosh! Oh, that's that's cool. a freezer! Here, let me zoom in on that, that's cool. That is crazy. Wow. Like, look how much smaller the fridges used to be. And now we have these, like, So one of the cooler things about this place too is the people that own it, the ones that are giving out the tours. So A, they don't follow you around and that gives it kind of an authentic feel. But second, the really, really cool thing is, is they're explorers themselves. So they try to make the rules, you know, that they have 
you know, safe because they can get in trouble if someone got hurt, um, if they didn't have a waiver signed or something. But at the same time, they kind of give you that original feel, you know, like you're actually exploring an abandoned village. And the way that everyone just left here, it really gives it the feel of an actual ghost town. So it's pretty cool, and we're interested to see what's in the rest of the houses. Yeah. Let's do it. This looks like one of the houses they that's actually might build in. That's a real tree. Yeah. Look at the, uh, that's a real the switches. Tree. All green. Oh, yeah. nice. Is there anything over here? Oh, blue room. Blue room for a blue house, huh? What do you think of that? Sure. Let's take the stairs out. And look, find one of the spoils. We've probably been there for like 50 years. You sure? This is kind of trippy. So this is definitely one of the nicer uh, houses that they were talking about renovating. We're finding out pretty quick that every house has three floors. Oh, wow. You Jordan? You know. Those are actually really fancy, huh? Now, Yana said that the only way to get in here was for the back. Somebody's been that? watching us, Luke. <laughs> no, come here. Down low. Somebody's been spying on us. Hey. Unknown object number two. If anybody knows what this was used for, um, let us know in the comments because this is really sick. Are you fighting with it? I guess so. We got beef. This was like for the grill. There's so much memorabilia. Yeah, there's a lot of photographs. They weren't lying when they said that everything was left. What? Earrings with the children on them. Oh, wow. And these two, I guess, old coins. 1980, what? 70, 76. Hmm. Do you think they're trying to tell us actually not to enter? Or is there just up there? <laughs> it's crazy to think that, like, what, 11, 12 years ago, there was just people living in these houses? I mean, probably not all of them, but uh, definitely some of them. Yeah, there was like families here. If you go back even a little bit further, then it was completely full. Yeah, apparently we were told that a lot of kids would play out on the street. Um, seems like a really safe neighborhood. Um, my friends would die, so. Stained red. Get your hat back here. Don't mess with me. So we're down again by the base where we parked our car, and we're gonna check out this last bluish building, kind of gray. Um, the one across from us right here is out of service, there's no floor, 
and these two we peeked inside and it's kind of the same. There's not too much to them. So we're going to check out this last one over here and then we're going to go to the second side where there's a lot more buildings. So we're going to hit the gray house and then go over to the other side. Creepy basement alert. We haven't gone in one yet, we should hit it. Isn't it cool how all the walls are just painted different colors? Yeah, a lot of contrast. And we saw the hospital bed, like it almost looks like an asylum. Oh man, this is a little creepy. What was this used for? Cellar? It's not closed yeah. in now. Not much here. Except for this, whatever this was. Huh. Maybe it's like an animal washing station? Maybe a door something. or something? Down here something like that. I can't even put a guess on what that could be. Yeah, usually if it's empty downstairs, it's empty upstairs. That's how you know the place is old. That's how you know the place is really old. It's almost like we're, doesn't it kind of feel like we're invading the privacy of like tons of different families? Just walking through their homes, seeing the original stuff, huh. no albums, worries. photographs, CDs. Yeah, like a lot of families probably have so many memories here that we're... No, no third floor here, I think. Yeah, it's a little... We're different. almost invading, but... It's better, it's better this than the place to be forgotten completely. Yeah. yeah this is, wait, does it have a third floor? Just look. It's always at the random corner. It's so dark. Alright, so now we're at the. What color would you say this is? Tan? The tan house. Yeah. We're just gonna walk through it real quick. It's mine. I'm definitely doing something with this one. Insulation. That is a really nice chair. Yeah. I thought the shovel was nice. Like this one's different. I'm glad we're walking through it. Oh, oh wow. my god. <laughs> no, put that somewhere. Look at this though. That come on. To spray? Wait, let me see it. Stop moving it. Wow. Some old perfume. I need some privacy. <laughs> Look. Got my old perfumes. Right? Unless that's nail polish. No, this is perfume. You smell it. Just out of curiosity. Alright, ready? Yeah. Test. <laughs> Magic. <gasps> There's something hiding behind, behind the door. And it's my best friend. <laughs> and look. Bro, oh, the birds would really be making a mess of the place. Hashtag, eat the birds. So. Oh, well. Anything on that side? Nope, not really. You could definitely see why they're trying to fix this one up though. This one's in better condition than, actually I think every single one we've seen so far. Yeah, definitely. We're going on to the second set of houses now, and we're not sure if these ones will be better condition, worse condition, about the same, but they definitely don't take care of the land as nicely here. This is crazy. Where is it? Right there? You can see right down into the basement. So we're going to check these ones out, and we got like another hour left before it gets to sunset, so we got to move quick if we want to see every building. How are you doing there, partner? Would you like to come in? Yes, please. Grab some tape. Please, help yourself. That's pomegranate juice and uh, your... The 
This one looks a little bit more like a house. A couple of couches. What's this? A dog crate? Also, the ground in here is disgusting. We shouldn't stay in here long. Clearly, um, animals have been using this as their defecation area. They think we're feeding them. That's why. Look at my room. Beautiful. Those ones are fighting. The amount of wildlife here is awesome. The bunnies are so scared though. Oh my god. This looks like it's a bit of a different house. Old equipment uh, for like the screwdriver. There's a lot of ghost hunters that come here too. Whoa. This must be in a lot worse condition because we're not allowed to go on the second floor of this building. Let's see what the first floor is all about, though. Oh, wow. Huh. Look at that. Barely hanging. This might be good for animals as well. There's so many buildings. Wow. Was this like a furnace? Wow. That's from the kitchen. Look at this thing, bro. They do not. This is a relic right here. They do not sell these anymore. checkered wall. I like how all the walls are literally completely different. And the decay is just stunning. Whoa, what? This is like probably the worst decay. Some of it. No, it's well, the most natural, kind of which makes it the best. Mm. The other ones were natural? But yeah, such vibrant colors in each building. Uh, I don't understand, like, Look at this little board. how they expect to fix it, honestly. Oh. Welcome, class. This is known as the cat house, and this is the other house that is restricted. We have some cat evidence right here. Okay. The meow mix. <gasps> what do you think about that? Uh, it's so nice that like there's so many animals coexisting out here, um, and in general, it's really nice that they're um, like saving the cats. Um, there's a lot of wild cats that. Otherwise, would not have a home, so. They're so funny. Look how small it is. They're like tiny. 
They run so fast too. That seems to be their house, so we're going to avoid that one. You say there's a lot of dolls? A lot of dolls and dogs room over there. Um, but this was a living room. And definitely kids live here, so. Look at that vintage TV. Coffee pot. Oh wow. Didn't even notice that. Second floor of this house. Look at the coloring on this one. Surprising to see a TV set that big in here. Every other one was just the small ones, the old classic ones. Yeah, this family had it good. You guys are uh, cold in here? By any chance? Look, and it even has the mercury. That's back when they had mercury. I mean, they still do that. Yeah, it's a bit cold in here. It's beautiful. There's swans here too. Can't get too close to those though. They will attack. This is literally the animal's house, guys. They literally own this place. The way they walk it We ended up hitting most of the houses. Yeah. Obviously, there's ones like these, which we can't go on. There's four or five of those. That one's actually being renovated now. Yeah. But we did hit most of these and about three quarters of the ones down there. So I'd say it was pretty successful. And I mean, there's a lot of stuff left for you guys to explore when you guys come here. We definitely recommend this place. This one's chill. And the owners are really nice. Really good trip, honestly.